Here we go. Back to the underworld where it all began. Ah, good old inside the world screen. Back when we were just like, oh, we're resurrecting the continents. We're inside the world. How kooky. And things are a little different now. Hi. Ark, long time. It's good to see you well. <laughs> if you never found out, you could have been happy. Hey, big guy, you're back! Okay, that's all the same. What's the pump thing that say? Nothing, because we can't talk to plants, right? Okay, so they're it, all just saying the same business. Ark, how many years has it been? I'm glad to see you back! Noel. Which, you know, we kind of knew. She sort of magic poofed herself. All right. Hey, buddy. Ah, uh, where were you? We worried about your disappearance, womp. Hey. I got a bone to pick with you. Ark, uh, you have done well to return. I must give you credit for resurrecting the world so far. But you appear to have learned more than you should have. There's something I wish to show you. Follow me. And like, yeah, I could just stab him in the back right now, but... I also don't know where he went. There's something I want to show you. Okay, did you go down here? I don't think he did. I think he went outside, actually. But we're, we're, you know, sunk cost fallacy. We've walked down these stairs already. Yeah. Hi. What do you want to show me? Ark, oh, look at the sky. The flowing crystal blue. It's beautiful, though. Your body... No, all humans here are replicas made of the same material. When used up, the replicas regain their form and float like so. Earth has cycled through growth and decline to two opposing wills. Light created life. Dark destroyed what was unnecessary. And the will of dark now tolls your end. Ark, your duty is finished. Now let us make our way to the Gaia Stone. Uh, what? I didn't agree to this. Like, I'm not asking permission. Um, and now you're like, hey, there's, like, weird baby faces on, like, H.R. Geiger tentacles? What? It does very get, like, a soul blazer uh, look. This is Gaia Stone. You are inside the sun in the underworld. Well, that's not really the sun, then, is it? Shut up. This infinite corridor is the history of living things. Creation is the making of form. Okay. Thank you for telling me. Destruction is the dissolution of form. This planet's life had been promised an unfortunate fate at its start. Soon light and shadow shall become one. There is no shadow without light, and no light without shadow. Oh my goodness, Elder. Can you stop monologuing? First newbie. Yeah, it's, it is kind of similar to, like, FF13, the Falsy. First beginning, blah, blah, blah. But come on, man. Remember this place? We stood and resurrected the world, and yeah. I mean, similar. And like, yeah, he's kind of like magic robot looking, but at the same time, doesn't that kind of have like the illusion of Gaia feel? Sonic Boom! I, 
don't remember how to hit you, though. Gaia's Rage, ow. Sonic Boom. Dark Gaia launched an orb of light. Ow. Oh, I think I'm supposed to hit that back at it. Yeah, like this. Oh, but it's split. Okay. Oh. Scattered Badger Rock. Aha! Your work is done! Uh... Sir, you threw your head at me. No. Go away. Stop that. Stop being weird about this, man. Let's just fight, like, protagonist and boss that we are. Sonic Boom. Like, you're not Guile. Ah, boo. Ugh. Street Fighter called. They want their move back. And he's like, no. My move. Sonic Boom. It's fine. Actually, can you even hit me? No, okay, he can't even hit me there. Ha ha. And... So I, have to, I guess I have to be, like, right on the corner. Okay. Corner. Ah! Not yet. I mean, I've only hit you twice, dude. You don't need to be that mad. I mean, I guess he's bad just because I've been foiling all of his plans forever. There's a cycle of, like, your monologue's also kind of weird. He's like, there's a cycle of light and dark. One can't exist without the other. Like, you're literally trying to usher in an age of both being merged and not being a cycle anymore. I don't see how this, like, actually works. I am Earth's internal face. No. All of these guys are the internal faces. <laughs> Ow. <sighs> Come on. Yes. You too will disappear. Yeah, well. That was the brakes. Hey, <laughs> don't try to teach him logic. His denial is too strong. It's true. Like... Ark might be dumb, but at least he's not in denial. Dark Gaia here is all like, Ugh. Bless me, he's like right now. I will conquer all! The cycle must continue with me as the only one of the cycle. There's someone in you. Weird. But also, yes. It's called me. I'm in me. I guess it's true, like, if you were just Dark Ark... Dark Ark. Representative of Light Side. Yeah, that whole business. Like, I, I guess if you were purely just the Dark Side Ark, he could probably just, like, kill you instantly, right? Because you'd just be under, like, his domain, period. Oh, uh, yeah. Light side and dark side together in the best one. I am Ark, I'm the best. That's right, you launched the orb of light. Whoop. Just as before. What's just as before? You fighting the light one? The light and the dark being together? Like, I'm not sure. You gotta explain your lore to me, buddy. I'm out of the loop on this. Oh, I could probably hit it when it's down there. Okay. Well, okay, not if it goes off the screen. Ugh. Take that. There we go. Come on, game. Keep loading. Oh, that surprise. There, there's another version. Like, come on. Every... Soul Blazer, Illusion of... They both end with, like, you beat the final boss, and then, no, the final boss is a lot creepier than you actually thought.
Oh, no. Ah, I didn't get it off time. There we go. So, this attack, by the by, I unfortunately, I did not block to start. That's a little too late. It's basically one of only two times in the game you have to use block. Like, you have to use it way at the beginning to, like, reflect the one uh, spell or whatever. You know, back in the tower. Wait, I can't full heal? Ugh. Fine. Guess I should have stocked up on heating uh, healing items. Oh, uh, yeah. I forgot that. Well, that's unfortunate. Ow. There we go. But yeah, so the, you use the block in like one of the early towers and you never really have to use it. Except right here. Because as you see, like one hit of that did 105 damage. Yeah, it, it destroys you if you don't. Oh, do I have to hit those back? I think I do. Or maybe I just do that. I don't remember. Eh. Come back. Stop. 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 I can't hit you, man. Come on, get down closer. Eh. Eh. Like. What do you want me to do? There we go. Get him, get him, get him, get him while he's here. Yeah, might as well use our healing when we got it. I do want to use my spulbs. And let's use another spulb. And let's keep using the spulbs. What if we'd go faster if you equipped it? Maybe, let's find out. Equip. You're equipped. Kind of? Depends if it, like, makes him attack or not. Ow. Ooh, critical. Yeah, you know, it's it, it makes sense, because, like, you know, first game... Uh, hey, let me go. You know, you, you fought Death Toll as, like, a weird, like, wizard, and then he turned into his big, creepy, this kind of form, and then... Uh, Dark Gaia and Illusion of Gaia. You know, you first fight is just, like, the face on the comet, and then it turns into a big, creepy thing like this. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe you fought the big creepy thing and then the face. Either way. So then, this one, of course, is like, here's this weird robot dude. Except then, of course, you beat that guy and he turns into a big winged weird creepy thing. Ow, ow. Stop. I mean, it doesn't hurt that much with the block, but still. Ow. It hurts more than I... That was close. You good there? Ooh, 104. Yeah, that critical. Now we beat it. For real, Z. Defeated Dark Gaia. A voice echoes in Ark's head, because that's how people like to talk with you. It was the same voice heard at the hero's grave. It's finally over. Dark Gaia's powers are sealed. Uh, who is that? Who are you? Me? I'm your original, on the light side. Dark Gaia created you to rule the planet as his own. Yeah, so there, there's the other little twist. He made you by copying me when he was first sealed. So it's like, there's two people 
Yeah, no, not just you, the village of Krista, too, and there was Storkholm surprise. Is that it's like there's two people, a light side and a dark side, but above ground you saw a village identity. You're not real. You're a you're a copy made of crystal blue. World runs on a balance of light and dark. You came to realize that. Yes, I did. So that's why there's like identical copies, is because Dark Guy literally is like, there's a person, and then bloop, the mod and nothing. Let us return to our respective worlds. Like, but my L is gone, and yours isn't. Like, oh boy, we return to our respective... Whoa, wait, mine, mine's kind of bad. Huh, so this is my hometown. Even if I have a grand home with no one to share, it's meaningless. Come to think, Hell Outside lost her village too. Lost her fellow villagers, her parents were killed. That's why she said she lost her ability to speak. I can feel the pain that she went through. I had no idea that having no place to go home to is so empty and lonely. What's the matter? You seem down. Uh, yeah. I wonder what I've been fighting for. I was told by the Elder to resurrect the world, so... I went above ground. Yeah, the world was resurrected, and civilization developed. But it was all the Elder. Dark Gaia's plan. Can't help but feel I brought bad luck upon this planet. Eh, <laughs> I didn't think Ark had that kind of sense of duty. But you did fulfill your duty of creating heaven and earth. You're what humans would call uh, a god. Look, where there's a world with living beings, bad things always are gonna happen. But on the other side of bad, there's an equal number of good. Uh, anyway, Ark, I enjoyed traveling with you. Me? Oh, Yomi, you're actually a good guy. What? You just found out now? Well, to be fair, it was a different Yomi you were with, so... Yomi, let me ask you something. You came along with me on my entire journey. Well, no, he... Uh, you even stood by and helped me on my final battle. Never ask, but what exactly are you? Oh, is that all? Ark, up to now you've met countless living things, right? Birds, four-legged animals, even mermaids with flippers. Yeah. All living things evolve the way they are now, from one creature. Before evolution started, they all looked like me. Uh, humans evolved to stand on two feet so they could use tools. Uh, wait, 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 no, no, go back, go back, go back a second. Everything came from you? Yeah. Now they're relying more and more on machines. I don't care about your lecture on technology. I'm going back to the you're the source of all life. Maybe humans will evolve to my style again. <laughs> uh, Yomi might be our future. Okay, later, Ark. I gotta get going. But what? Where are you going? Uh, back to sleep. I'll be back when someone strays from the flock like art. Later. Farewell, brother. Foop. Yeah, it's weird though, it's like, you've been with me on my whole journey, but, like, we know that only the light side Yomi was with us at the end, so... I don't know. Maybe... It, yeah, just a minute voice in your... in my head. But, like, maybe I guess because, like, Yomi's kind of a magic being anyways, like, the light Yomi knew all what was happening at Adam. That I don't know. Can you hear me? I am Light Gaia, the soul of the surface world. 
With Dark Gaia's defeat, Krista and the Underworld will disappear. The surface world will gradually return to normal. You are the hero who appears when the Earth is in danger. In you flow both the blood of Light Gaia and Dark Gaia. Your duty is now finished. Your body will soon disappear. Just today, go enjoy your final happy time in Krista. In peace. Ark! Ark! Huh? What's the matter? You were tuned right out. Sorry, I was just thinking. Hey, Ark, I think happiness is just being able to loaf around without stress. Oh, hey, Ark, you're looking uncommonly serious. Well, if you're quiet, there's one less worry for me. Elle's weaving their special power. I wonder if I'm becoming an artisan like Elle. So, you've, you've saved the day. You defeated Dark Gaia. And what's your reward? Well, you're made up of Krista Blue. Oh, we have nice, we have to make nice clothes so people can enjoy them. So yeah, with the destruction of Dark Gaia, that means like all the things Dark Gaia created are going to disappear. That includes you. So Light Gaia is at least nice enough to be like, okay, like, your your body is gonna disappear, dude, but uh here, you know what? I'm gonna just remake your village for one like final day for you. Kids should be active. What if they so what if they break a few things? Hey, the little girl's out of the, the bed. It, crystal blue is the air, but I'm going out anyway. We're in the air. Hey, Ark, let's play! Oh, the fortune teller was saying this pool reflects the future, but the pool shows nothing at all. It doesn't even reflect me. Uh, yeah, don't worry about it, buddy. That's just your sprite limitation not being reflected. <laughs> um, so yeah, this part's always, it's very... Yeah, bittersweet. We're waiting for Elle to finish work. Let's play! Mom said boys and girls are bound by a promise from an earlier life. Ark, are you going to be friends with Elle forever? We'll get to that. I wish I could jump high. I don't know if they're saying all the same things from her. Like, some are definitely different. Like, the stuff about the pool is different for sure. Homemade vegetables taste great! Isn't crystal blue pretty? Look at that! There's someone that looks like L. Like, what happens if you go into the... Uh, however small a tool, it's made to be useful to people. It's the same with people. There isn't a single person that's unnecessary. But that also explains why these merchants look the same. What? Magic rock arc? What's that? We don't carry anything like that. I guess light guy is like, I'll recreate this stuff except like dark guy has magic power. Uh, that can, can stay out of your, your last day dream world. Oh, just dangling a hook and line, I can make the days stretch out. Ark, why don't you join me fishing? But like, kind of, how is that as a reward? It's like, on the one hand, yeah, you get to spend, like, one last day with your hometown, but, like, Ark knows what's happening. Ark, something about you is changing. Like, he knows that this is not real. Ark, are you hungry? Just wait, I'll make you good dinner. Hey, Ark, I'll wake you up. Woo, the high. I guess that's the same. Look at that. Crystal blue is reflected in Ark's eyes. That's my Mako poisoning from... What? Oh, nothing. Wrong game. What? The blue door? Oh, that's always been a broom closet. Are you all right, Ark? Oh, the Elder? What? There's no person like that here. Ark, are you dreaming? We're all just a dream, man. I mean, there, you wouldn't get it. Ah, yesterday was peaceful like any other day, like tomorrow. Everything started from this room. Technically, it started when you woke up in your room. I wonder if the Elder planned everything when he sent me up. 
I mean, yes, he said so much. I mean, he planned for you to resurrect the civilization in Baruga. He didn't plan for you to kill Baruga and destroy him. He died to Earth and Dark. That's a, a poetic way of saying that. I like that. He should have been killed by machines when Baruga was awakened. But I didn't die. I was resurrected by Kamari and all living things. I met the other me, and I realized my destiny. Yes, that is a summary of what happened. Thank you for sharing. And now I can put the controller down. Ah, uh, there might be one. Now before we get to the credits, there might be one thing. Yeah. Ark, you hear me? I have something important to say. I tried to kill you as a baby in Stockholm. In Krista, the Elder's word was absolute. That also then explains, like, why... But seeing you grown up... I understand, like, why, like, Yomi would betray you, why El was about to betray you. We're all individuals. It's important to live naturally. I'll get to my point during the credits, I guess, because I can't pause it here. Krista will be gone soon. But if we're bound by fate, we will meet again. In time. Somewhere. Ark, until then, goodbye. For just a little while. Ah, oh, it's so sad. But, the one upside to all this is, this is the third game of the Quintet Trilogy. We know how these th type of things go. Okay, so first, I think it's now going to credits. And again, you gotta stick around for after the credits, because just like the other two games, there's a scene after this. Ark fell into a deep sleep. And Ugh dreamt his last dream. Ugh, way to rub it in game. It was a dream of becoming a bird and seeing the whole world grown older. Bird show, don't tell. We get to the credits now. There we go. So, the staff of Terminator. Uh, the first thing when I was talking about. Like, why would, like, Elle come to betray you, and even though she couldn't do it in the end, like, why would Yomi betray Like, it kind of makes sense that if everything is a creation of Dark Gaia, like, even you, like, cl clearly you have wills of your own, like, it's not just, like, everyone's imprinted with Dark Gaia's will, because clearly you did something that Dark Gaia wasn't a fan of, you know, killing Maruga, killing Dark Gaia, but, like, it makes sense, like, in, for people who aren't the hero, that if Dark Guy is like, you're gonna do this, they can't say no. Like, they're they're formed of its will. So, like, it, it makes sense in context that. And then, like, now that Elle's, like, on the surface world and away from Dark Guy's influence, she's like, like I'm, like, I'm coming here to kill a baby. And she's like, wait, what am I doing? No, no, stop this. If people are individual. So, okay, there's that. Uh, that's what I was trying to say to anything. Now we're let's the speed up. Blah, 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 blah. It's a very sad end. Again, though, wait to the end of the credits. There is another scene. Like there's a there was a scene in the fur in Soul Blazer. There's a scene in Illusion of Gaia. Of course, there's a scene in this one, which we will talk about when it happens. But this one like hammers it home with like its bittersweet sadness ending. Like because like it, uh, Soul Blazer, you just straight up like you you. Defeat Death Toll, you go back up to the Master and, like, the end, and then afterwards the Master's like, oh, hey, by the way, you're still thinking this human. You want to go back to the world, but you'll forget everything. And, you know, Illusion of Gaia's a little different, but, you know, like, with Will and Kara on the, the comet, and, like, everything's changing now and we're creating a whole new place, but it's like, come and find me, and like, I'll never forget you. I'll search for a thousand years if I have to, a thousand lifetimes, I'll find you. 
Whereas this one, it's like, good job, Ark, you saved the day. Oh, by the way, because you're made up of, like, Dark Gaia energy, you are, you and your town and everyone you know are gonna disappear. And then Light Guy is like, okay, well, here's your reward. I'll let you spend one more day with them. Even though you know you're all, like, fakes from, of people from the real world and you're all gonna disappear. But, hey, enjoy your last day. And so it's really just, like, that's how you're gonna end it? Especially, and this is the last game in the trilogy, so it's, like, unofficial trilogy. Also, that's either a very slow diesel engine or a very fast bird. And, like, yeah, birds can be really fast, especially, like, you know, falcons doing, like, dive bombs and stuff, but... Like, this bird is keeping up with the train. On the other hand, I guess it's, you know, the dream that Ark dreamed, where he was a bird seeing the world, and he's like, I'm gonna dream I'm a bird and I can fly as fast as I want. Now, that said, there's a few more things to talk about, but I can't until the game until we see the end stuff. So until then, we saw the grasslands and the plains stuff, and <laughs> the grasslands and the plains. And now we see the, pl the well, it's not even a plane. That's like a, like a futuristic airplane thing. Technology we couldn't even dream about. I mean, it looks cool. Kind of impractical, but cool. I mean, like, that, there's the future for you. It's like, you know, we're going to be so efficient in the future with our things that we can just have little weird spiky bits and, like, stuff going out in a weird, like, porthole window in the back for no reason. And it's fine because we're so great in the future. Our stuff works that we don't need to, like, make everything perfect. We can make it cool looking. English version translation, Colin Palmer. Man, Colin Palmer, you definitely... I don't know who did the English translations of the other games, but... Yeah, Dan Osen, I remember that. Hiro Nakamura, like... You guys did, overall, a better job in this game than the other two, with, you know, some of the, the tech stuff and, like, getting into, like, oh, it's a quintet game, who's talking? Because when it switches from, like, a person to a narrator to another person, and you're like, what? Who... So that's better. But guys, was it you or was it the original? Who put in that Chinese accent? Because... <sighs> Again, I don't know. Like, I don't know if it was the English translation or if it was like the Japanese, but... Shame on whoever did that. I finger wag at you. Nice looking cityscape there. It's nighttime, flying through the forest. I guess I can see that. And now a, do, a new day is dawning, flying through the forest. I guess I can still see that. Why are you mentioning it? Because it's important. That's why. I'd be getting close to the end. We're producers now. so and It's not like a modern thing where it's like, here's everybody that looked at our design building on the way to the making the game. Here's a guy I saw on TV while we were making this game. Ba -da -ba -ba. Copy. All right. Here's why you had to stay.
coming. Ugh, who could it be at this time? It's almost midnight. Who is it? And then you're like, what? It's the one saving grace to what is otherwise that bittersweet ending. Ark dreamt he was a bird seeing the whole world, and then he flies through a forest, and it shows that in the, the bird landing there in the forest. And then at the same time, in the middle of the night in Storkholm, in the middle of the forest, there's a knocking on Elle's door, and she goes to open it. And then it cuts to black. Now, it's not quite the upbeat ending that the other two games. Because, you know, Illusion of or, uh, Soul Blazer, the first one, ended with Blazer literally up like in heaven or whatever. And the master being like, OK, look, you're you're keep thinking about Lisa and you're an angel. So that doesn't really work. How about I send you back as a human? You'll forget everything, you know. But do you want to do that? And you're like, yeah, sounds good. And so then like you just literally Bomp right down, and Lisa's like, hey, it's you, and you're like, huh? And she's like, well, you don't remember me, but that's okay, we'll make new memories. And then you have Illusion of Gaia, where, you know, Will and Kara at the end, and they're like, you know, oh, I'll find you, I'll search for a thousand years, and then it shows at the very end, Stinger, in the new, you know, modern, current world, that they're all in school together, like Will and his friends and Kara, they all go to the same school, so hooray, they found each other, even if they don't remember what happened. This one, it's not quite as, uh, uplifting and it's not quite as obvious but uh so at the at the time there were when it came out there were sort of like two trains of thoughts and there's the the more optimistic people said well because of soul blazer illusion of gaia like the whole like thing of these games being an unofficial trilogy being like spiritual trilogy is the like that you know people in love and all that stuff like through rebirth will find each other again and we already saw in uh, Soul Blazer, there was the lady whose husband, or maybe, I don't remember if it was the husband or the wife died. One of them died, and then the one came back as a goat. And the goat likes spending time with the person because they're like, well, I might be, you know, I'm a goat now, not a person anymore, but I still like spending time with them. So we've seen it before where you can be together even if not necessarily in the same forms. And so the one, like, the optimistic thought is Ark was not just dreaming he was a bird, but he was reborn as a bird and is now going to spend time with L. Yes, it's not quite as, you know, as much as, you know, Soul Blazer coming down to be with Lisa, like literally the same person. But that's a little bit of a happier underneath. Well, everyone you know and love is gone the end, but the less optimistic at the time uh, thought was, well, you have the like the light side and the dark side blood together, right? You know, like they made a whole point about this. And this is the light world, so that's like light arc only, and dark arc, like dark side arc just, you know, gets nothing out of it. And so it's like, well, but, and so it's like, well, you know, light side arc gets to spend time with L, and he's just like literally just light side arc being with L. And it's not, it has nothing to do with the bird, like the bird was just dark side's dream, and that's it. There's nothing, no birds at all, the end. And, you know, it's like, well, dark side arc kind of gets... The, the short end of the stick in that one. That said, it turns out there was a like a 20th or 30th, or whatever. What would it be? There was some anniversary, like the 20th or 25th or some anniversary like that. Uh, and the art team for Terranigma, they made, I don't know if it was like a little short movie or they made some artwork, excuse me, for it. But the key thing is like the original art team when they made a drawing or little video or whatever it is they made of this ending scene, it specifically is L being like at the door going out or looking out or whatever. And it shows a bird like perched right like in a tree above her doorway or, or like on the ground or somewhere. I haven't seen it, so I don't know exactly what it is. But it, so like at the time, it's like, well, either like Ark's reincarnated as a bird. And so they get to spend time together and it's 
you know, it's it's a little sad, but at the same time, they're together again. Hooray. And the other people are like, nope, dark side arc's gone. That's just light side arc going there. Too bad, so sad. And they're like, no, the original art team, they, they show specifically like, yes, it's the bird interpretation. That's the real one. He is reincarnated as a bird. So there you go. And that's why I was like, I need to talk about this, but I can't really talk about it until it shows what I'm talking about at the end. That is the Terranigma. Well, that, that is Terranigma, yes. But that is also the Quintet, the unofficial Quintet trilogy. I know there's a lot, a lot of streams, a lot of YouTube videos, but, you know, it, it's, it's a lot to keep in your head going from one video to the next and be like, look at the themes of like, you know, rebirth and death and like, you know, Death Toll mirrors Dark guy and the Dark guy of a, that game kind of mirrors the Dark guy of this game, but you know, like, the, this one actually kind of then mimics Death Toll and, like, it's more of, like, a religious thing. You know, so I wanted to do them all in a row so you could keep it in, as opposed to, like, hey, remember that, like, a year ago when I streamed this? And you're like, no, I don't remember that at all. But now I've finished it. Uh, I imagine what's coming next for YouTube, at least. I've got some, uh, Going back to the classic platforming stuff, I've got some uh, Donkey Kong and Mega Man coming up for streams. I don't know what I'll do. Maybe some Link to the Past randomizer. But that will do it for now. And, uh... Thank you for everyone who came along on this the Quintet Trilogy journey with me. It's, as I said, it's a thing that I've... I really like these games a lot. Um... And I wanted to share them with you because, you know, it's not like when it's like, yeah, me's playing Super Mario World. And, you know, people be like, hey, Super Mario World. I, I know that guy. That's Mario. That's that Mario fella. And, you know, people like to see that type of stuff. Be like, oh, Donkey Kong Country. Woo, this is my favorite game. Like, yeah, I love Donkey Kong. But, you know, those are the things that everyone knows. Not so many people know the Quintet Trilogy. And I think they're really well done. Like, yes, there are problems with them. You know, there's weird things that don't make sense, both in gameplay, dialogue, and, you know, it's not, they're not perfect games, but I think they're really good, and I hope that you've enjoyed seeing them if you've never seen them before, especially Terranigma. Because I said, like, a decent number of people who grew up with Super Nintendo, you know, obviously if you're a younger person that didn't grow up with Super Nintendo, you probably may have never seen them. That's okay. You know, that, that you were born after that. That's, like, not a problem, it's not your fault, that's just the way it is. But for people who grew up with Super Nintendo, a decent amount of them have played Illusion of Gaia, because that was like the the most popular one at the time. Not so many people played Soul Blazer. Um, like, I mean, I didn't even know about it till years later. I played Illusion of Gaia way back when, but I didn't learn about Soul Blazer till... I mean, I had it on cartridge, but I definitely heard about it afterwards, even though it came first. Um. And of course, Terranigma never came out in the U.S., so if you're a U.S. viewer, you never played this on the cartridge back in the day because you couldn't. It was not available to you. I mean, I, I guess unless you were, like, super rich and you had, like, a, pa a, you know, a PAL Super Nintendo and a converter. It, no, you didn't. You never played Terranigma. Maybe you played it later, but you didn't play it on cartridge back in the day if you're in the U.S. So, I like sharing Terranigma because it's it's... It does stuff that not a lot of games do. It's a, a a middle ground between, like... Okay, yeah, you've got some RPG elements where you're like, yeah, you fight bad guys, get experience, level up. And you've got some, you know, dungeon things of, like, go and stab the monsters. But then it's also like, okay, you've got these fetch quests, but they're not just, like, you know, a side quest of, like, oh, get these ten, you know, bear eyeballs, and I'll give you a potion. But, like, there are these involved things, like, okay, you get... You know, a piece of metal from here to give to this guy so that he can make tin sardines. You take that over to this guy who will, like, rate the food, and, like, that helps the town grow. And so it's not just a fetch quest for the sake of it, but it's, like, actual, like, you're setting up trade between countries. Like, here's the wine from France. We're going to bring it to New York. And now there's, like, trading, and that makes the towns prosper. It's big. It's, like, it's fetch quests with a purpose. And so it's, like, part economy building, part dungeoning, and it's... It's just a thing you... I'm not sure I've seen in any other game, really. Like, yeah, there's, like, base building with dungeons in some games, but... I don't know. It's like... Take Legend of Zelda with a little bit of Final Fantasy with a little bit of almost, like, Sim City, Oh, kind of? Like, you're not building the houses yourself, but you're growing towns. And, and then, you know, throw on some other RPG stuff and 
put it all together and that's you get Terranigma and it's it's just a fun time. And I did like Ark as a protagonist. Because he just kinda has that he he's like the guy who's gonna do the right thing type, but he's also stupid, but he also has his moments of clarity, because like you get the brooding protagonist, and like, yeah, Ark salts once. And like, yes, you get the dumb protagonist. Like, yeah, Ark's pretty dumb, except for the times when he has a really good point. And like, yes, you get the loving romance protagonist, which Ark does, obviously, with L. But then you also have times like the modern L, and you're like, am I like anything like the L, you know? And you're like, no, she was kind and nice, and you're not. And she's like, excuse me? So yeah, I hope you like Terranigma as much as me. I hope you like whatever it is that I'm doing next as much as me. But for now, the end.